find the one you should never give her up welcome this is my second video today if you've not watched my first video already ah uh ah -uh. Ah uh ah, -uh, why now? I made that video for you. That video is on super white body soap. So if you're interested in finding out about that product, it's a very strong lightning soap. Yes, very strong and very, very effective. If you want to make your black soap, you can actually grate that soap and put it you know grate that soap with your black soap if you want to make a lightning black soap or if you want to make your liquid soap yes you can melt it alongside with any other ingredients you are using it's very 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 effective so you don't want to miss that review please go and watch that review okay welcome to this channel on this channel i review skincare products i give tips on my videos on how to care for your skin i also do videos related to youtube sometimes you know what i learn i share i'm not a greedy person i like everybody to you know if i know something i want you to know it as well i also do videos here on business sometimes depending on how i'm feeling and yeah i want to do a disclaimer first before i go ahead to review today's product trust me don't click out oh, today's product is this this video today is a well needed video because it carries a lot of information that you need to know about this particular product i know you must have seen this product on the tom lane as well as in my title but yeah let me do this disclaimer now, I get a lot of people that come here to tell me how probably a product they tried out didn't work for them or it did this or it did that. I try as much as possible in my video to give you experience that I've had with the product or experience that I've seen somebody have and they are very raw and real experiences. I'm not going to come here and tell you something that did not happen. And if I actually had a negative experience or if somebody had a negative experience with a product, I would always come here and say, this was how it happened to me. It did this to me. It didn't do this to me or it did this to this person. And the funny thing is, sometimes also when i use a product and if it's good for me if it wasn't good for me but it was good for somebody else i would always tell you especially like my nivea product i was complaining that when i used the nivea fairness lotion and that video was quite long because i took my time to explain the, i used the nivea fairness lotion it wasn't good at all on my skin but my brother used it and it was amazing on his skin and that is the thing your skin and my skin is not the same baby we are made from clay okay but yeah god still puts a lot of variations in each and every one of us so i will not be surprised if i say this about a product and you use it and it was not what i said you understand what i mean because we are all different we react differently to something and i'm also going to tell you another reason why when people ask me here to prescribe products for them i do not i think i'm quite generous enough coming here sitting down telling you guys about this product taking my time to explain this product and i think that should be enough for you to make a good judgment of whether you should buy the product or not but here's why i stopped giving advice there was a lady that approached me not only her there were a lot but let me just use her as an example there was a lady that approached me on instagram and you know coming to me on instagram is like coming to consult to me like i mean like your consultant right your skincare consultants because you've gone beyond the the the, the, the the my youtube channel you've come to ask me questions on my past personal platform right now so she was asking me that there was a particular product i reviewed she wanted to use it so i told her okay go ahead and i gave her instructions on how to use that product right only for this person to come back to me two months later sent me a picture and god her face was horrible she was like is the product you reviewed that cost this i'm like no it can't be because that was the current product i was actually even using i'm like okay even if you want to react not this way do you understand so it shocked me i was like how did this happen and she was like it was your product this that i said did you follow the instructions i asked you the soap and everything i said she said yes so i was surprised i was thinking how come is it that she bought fake or something so I kept on questioning her only for her to tell me that she has gone to see her dermatologist now and the guy said she should discontinue, discontinue using the product and she doesn't want to, that she wants to continue using. I'm like, if you said the product did this to you, why would you want to go against your dermatologist and also don't you pity yourself why do you want to spoil your skin even further she now said eh, actually it was not the product i re I, say, I reviewed per se that she went to watch another person's review and that person said they should mix a and b and c into the product this was a very strong product already on its own now how can that be careful the kind of reviews you actually watch okay i like my skin it's not everything i put on my skin now how can that person now say you should mix a b c and d then if that person already that she even spoke to her the lady told her what and what to add you know she added it that she wanted it to be very effective i'm like oh you even contacted the lady and she asked you to mix all these things she said yes because me i just told her to use the product use this soap use this use this yes 
just like I reviewed in my previous video that I said the I'm sorry if this video is too long my previous video that I said you guys should use super white and if you're using the lightning product you should not use a product that has the same percentage or don't even use a product that has the hydroquinone itself use something different I know why I'm saying all of this okay so she went ahead and did that so I'm like oh why did you now tell me that it was the product I, I I told you to use plus the combination of the soap and stuff that caused this problem for you? She said she's sorry. She's sorry that it was the other thing she mixed in it. The lady even told her wanting to mix, mix, mix and put in her face. And I'm like, okay. Before somebody will now come here and lie on my head and say skin talk with did this, said this. I came, you came to my, I came to your Instagram and all this. My skin has damaged. Since then, if you notice, if you leave me any message on my Instagram page to ask me, anything concerning i'm not going to answer because i don't want people to i'm sorry if it sounds harsh but that's just the, the harsh reality so guys please be careful whatever works for a might not work for b whatever works for c might not work for d okay we are meant to react differently you should understand your skin sometimes your skin might be I might have dry skin and then there's a product that i say is very good here and i sometimes if it's not good for dry skin i will tell you and then you go and use it and then it's causing you breakouts you know or probably um your body reacts to a certain ingredient that's why i always list out the ingredients here and now i've started writing down the ingredients in the description but i just had to do this rant i'm sorry okay so to today's video <laughs> today's video is on the nano extra white face cream i know i already did a review on the nano extra before but that was a different face cream okay and i'm going to show you guys the difference between the nano extra white face cream and the nano extra white face cream the first difference is the spelling the spelling of the foreign made in china deni cosmetics uh, company nano uh, nano extra white this is the, the, the spelling is different from the one the second difference i'm going to be telling you about is the packaging now see this is orange color this is red in color secondly the models in front these are asians and this is these are also asians but they are different you can see the third difference is this you can see where the papaya and whatever extract is placed here this is a nano extra the red one that's not say made by an african this is the foreign one you can see where the papaya extract is and it's written here pro skin care deni cosmetics it has this logo here oh god i wish you guys okay it has this logo here why this one does not have any logo no logo at all but this one has the logo and you can see where the papaya is written so and also the spelling difference i was talking about you see this is nano extra white while this one is nano extra with x okay and this one claims the red one that i reviewed before claims to work within seven days while the foreign one that is made by dna cosmetics does not claim to work within seven days okay also on the pack you can see that there's a face of an african man here on the nano extra you can see this is the face of an african man but on this one there's no african face at all the foreign made in china made in thailand this one is made by pink rose cosmetics and that's all you get pink rose cosmetics no contact address no email or nothing just pink rose cosmetics while this one is made by krong teb dinay co limited um ww dot whatever the net bank is made in thailand anyway the name of the company and all their information is here and they also wrote some of the instructions in thailand language and also in arabic and in english for the one made in thailand you would have seen from the previous the previous video i don't know if it will come up before this one or after i'm going to actually review this one properly but i'm just trying to tell you guys the difference between the two of them they claim to actually do the same thing in terms of the work they claim to do you know they claim to actually do the same thing i already reviewed this this one the one that has an african man's face on on it so if you want to watch it i'm going to leave a card up here or i'm also and then i'm also going to leave a link down in the description bar you can actually check that out i actually reviewed that some days back so you can actually check that then another difference is 
I've said all the difference on the pack. Okay, another thing I want you to note is this one that is made in Thailand that looks orange like this. This one has all their ingredients listed, which you would actually watch. I actually, if you want to see all the ingredients, check my other video where I actually properly reviewed this one alone. So it actually has all the ingredients listed. This one doesn't have all their ingredients listed, like I've also said in the previous review. If you want to find that, you can check the one, the African one that the one that has an African man's face on. So yeah, that's like some notable differences. Then also, this one that is made in Thailand out of the pack this is how they it was well thought out like the way they produced the way they made their packaging you can see this is what comes out of the one made in thailand and this is how it looks like with the company's logo on it and then it's written nano extra white cream and all of that you can see this is how the foreign one looks like then the then the one that has an african man's face with like pink rose cosmetics this is how it looks like it has nano something written here i wish i can actually show you guys but and then it also has it written here inside this is how it looks like see it looks yellow inside and it's creamy and thick while the one made in thailand looks like this inside it's white you can see it looks like vaseline it doesn't have a scent both of them don't have a scent at all and it's very uh, thick when you apply it doesn't contain any oil when you apply it on the face it's very sticky so these are the differences so in case you want to get them I've given you the difference between the one that is made in Thailand and the one that is made by Pink Rose Cosmetics. And Pink Rose Cosmetics, they didn't indicate where. Pink Rose Cosmetics where? It could be in Nigeria, it could be in Ghana, it could be in Cote d'Ivoire, it could be from China. It didn't actually indicate where exactly the Pink Rose Cosmetics one is produced. So in case you want to get it from these two, from my from the the you can even see the pack of the one made in thailand is bigger compared to the one made by pink rose cosmetics that we don't know where it's from but i'm going to tell you this both of them actually works this is for my sister this is the one i got for myself they cost the same they are both 1000 naira. that was how we got ours at different locations and they both work <laughs> yes funny enough they both work so any of them you decide to get do let me know in the comments section till i come your way again next time also tell me what products you would like me to compare together so you guys can be able to tell which one is produced by the original company which one looks like an imitation which one works better and all that just let me know in the comment section which one you would like me to compare till i come your way again next time Mwah. remain blessed bye